Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use Flip a Clip. For those of you who are new, I'm going to teach you the proper way to use it. Let's get started. Now, first thing you can do in the settings, you can like, you can choose like a background you want. I'm going to see if I can like find a background. Yeah, I use that for the thumbnail. Alright, let's see if I can like find a background. A good background. Let's see. Ah. Well. And you can like size it a bit. Depending on how good it is. Are you save? Save again. And there you have it. Now what you want to do, uh, here's the settings. This saves the picture. This lets you play the animation. Um, I believe this lets you view all the frames you made. This lets you see through so you won't have to miss a thing. These are the layers. The, since I got a new update, you can add layers. Now, these were the only layers you could select. So I'm going to go with layer 2. You, there's the copy button. You can copy a frame. Here's what's on the right. Now this here, when you t tap it, you'll see a bunch of stuff. This is the pen where you can actually draw something. This is the paintbrush. This is a pen. This is the pencil. This is some highlighter of some sort for shade. I use it for shading to make it a lot cooler. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna draw a basic stickman walking down the streets. Alrighty. Now draw his stickman legs and you can color him. I'm going to color him. I want to make him blue. There you go. Now this little lasso tool, when you c press copy after you use it, I use this lasso tool to move the character around like this. Didn't mean to do that. Alrighty. Now. Now that we've done that. This here paintbrush. Summons like a, a ball. Now here. Here's add new frame. Clone last frame and paste into frame. I'm gonna do clone last frame. I'm gonna do like. These gonna paint a bow like a basic bouncy ball bounce and hit the floor serious my bad teaching skills didn't help I don't know how to improve it And just use the lasso tool. You can do this as many times as you want. Just use this lasso tool. Circle around it. Make sure nothing's in, out of place. Alrighty. Now, hopefully, this helps you guys because I'm not really good as a teacher. I'm just showing you fun stuff.
fighting. Alrighty. Now that I have the bouncy ball, I'm gonna make it. Now, with this little tool, you can like select different colors. So I'm gonna go with a red orange ball since orange is something that people like for some reason. I'm gonna make it. Now here are the what you can do with the rest of the tools. You could use it for shading, which is what I'm going to show you. Now you could size it or change your capacity. Depending on how heavy it is, you could try and make it look good. I'm going to go with... I'm going to do some basic shading. Alrighty. Change that up. I'm recording using... I'm recording along with the headphones, so it's probably going to mess up the audio. Now I'm going to keep making the shading bigger every each and every time I do it, because it's getting ready to hit the ground. I'm going to draw a big circle around it. Sorry for... drawing in the background. I'm a horrible teacher and I live with my mom and dad. I know you don't really have to hear that. And make it look really, really 3D like or something like that. And it's gonna bounce again. gonna take off with some more shading. Okay. That. I draw a basic ball this. And there you go. Alrighty, let's play the animation. That's actually like, I you know, make a bit more dramatic effects. This, to make it look more realistic. As you can see, what's the outfit? It turned out pretty well, actually. And those were the basics. Um, the pencil tool, I forgot to mention, can like make the character's skin darker and make it more more of a realistic type thing the paintbrush is what I use to make make the bouncy ball the frames oh yeah and I forgot to mention Layer 3 is the closest layer, so let's use it. Alrighty. So this is what happens. See, so I'm doing it. 
over Alrighty. And then it does that. Layer one for a background layer. I'm gonna like add some. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna add like some some cracks. So it'll look like old of mine. And there you go. That's those are the basics. The eraser tool you can use to erase. This little thing, when you connect the pencil and the ruler together, it actually draws a straight line for you. The refresh button refreshes. Whenever you like make mistakes, you can fix them. Undo. Just use the thing you were designed to redo. And those are how you use the buttons. Copy. Alrighty, and copy, I can use this to copy the cracks, I know I made Fox's Ballad, and copy the frames, Now you can just draw a person again, but I'm too lazy to. So I hope this helped you. Now let's play the whole entire video. Oh, God, that's not what I wanted to do. Alrighty.